Hi there, today we're unboxing a gaming keyboard. So this particular one is by a company called Razer. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So this is the Razer Huntsman Elite. It's the Opto Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. It comes really nicely packaged with a picture of the actual keyboard. You've got a slight slot here. You can try out some of the keys. If we come in close here, so you've got Razer Opto Mechanical Switch, light and clicky. So they're the switches behind the keys. So if we come around here, some branding there, and the fact it's the Huntsman Elite. Coming around this way, same again, the picture of the actual keyboard. Some details here. So package content there, system requirements. Okay, approximate size and weight, and some details there, okay. And this is the UK keyboard layout. Some more branding and a picture of the keyboard as well. And if we come round here, there you go, another picture of the keyboard, some details regarding the actual mechanical switches here. And that's all we have. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. So there's a point here where you can tear it open. Okay, so this is what we're initially presented with. And if we look at the top of the box, we've got some details here. So congratulations and welcome to the next level of gaming domination. Okay, pull that out, Razer Huntsman Elite. And if we flick through that, let's quickly show it's just a manual and multi-language. Okay, then we've got a card and this has some stickers on there. So the logo, Razer stickers, and powered by Razer Chroma. For gamers, by gamers. Okay, that's that. Okay, next, we pull top here off. And the here area here. Okay, and let's pull out the keyboard. Okay, so looking underneath the keyboard, you've got the wrist rest and the keyboard on top. So if I slowly take out the pads either side and the cover for the keyboard. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me show the wrist rest and the keyboard now. So first of all, the wrist rest, so if I pull it out and it just clips in via magnet here and there's some pins there. So if I bring it in close, it just locks in position. Okay, and the finish on the actual wrist rest, so it's aluminium at the top and then a leather-like finish on the actual wrist rest with a razor logo. Let me come in close just to show the pins on there. So you can just see them there. And a tough plasticky finish on the back with six rubber pads to avoid it slipping. Okay, the actual keyboard itself. So same again as the wrist rest, so aluminium finish on the top and tough plastic on the bottom. Six pads underneath and two resting positions on there so it's adjustable like most keyboards you can see the pin connection points on here and buttons so these are the razor opto mechanical switches so a light and clicky they say and cable wise you've got 1.7 meters in length and really nice braided quality on there and a wrap here to obviously tie them up so has razor logo on there and you can just loosen it and bring it apart. If I bring the cable in just to show, so two connection points on there, just to show that razor on one, and it's got a picture of a light on the other and covers on each one. It's quite nice, obviously the green going with the razor theme and there as well. So very good quality and a big chunky connection point there. Okay. One thing to note, there's no USB pass-through point on here and showing all the way around, so nothing like that. And you've got the multimedia keys at the side here, it's quite nice, these are programmable. And obviously you've got the chroma along the side here, so if I come in at this angle you may be able to see it just there, that's for the lighting, so I'll show that in a second. So. 
nice clicky feel to it and if I bring it in with the wrist rest just to show not too bad padding feels fairly sufficient on there so nice okay so I'm now at my computer and I'm just about to plug in one of the USB points from the keyboard so this is the one that said razor on there plug that in okay and now I'm going to plug in the USB connection point with the light indicator on there so there you go you can see the light come on on the keyboard just there so doesn't say it needs to set up or anything so ready to go straight away okay so next let's put on the software for the keyboard so I've gone to the Razer website and Razer Synapse so let's download that and install that you just click next okay so there you go Razer gaming software select the software to install okay so the Razer Synapse covers Chroma Connect, Chroma Studio, Chroma Visualizer, Hue, Macro, Nano Leaf, and Razer Cortex. And if I hit install on that. Okay, so it's saying, congratulations, please sign in with your Razer ID or create a new Razer ID to get started. So the Razer ID is to save settings via the cloud. So let's just click get started. Okay, take a quick tour to check out the new and improved Razer Synapse. So next to that, quick access to all your favorite devices. Next to that, complete control, get started and done. So there you go, software's installed now and you can see the keyboard just there. So if I click on that, so a couple of things it's highlighted, Razer Hybrid Storage automatically stores your current profiles directly to your Razer device. So onboard memory, which is great. Okay, to power the underglow lighting of the keyboard and its wrist rest, make sure that both USB connections are directly connected to your PC. Okay, that's why you need both. And standard with Razer Hyper Shift, you can assign an additional function to the same button or key without interfering with its default input. Okay. It's good to know lighting we have the different effects okay so let's go through the different effects so ambient awareness audio meter breathing pretty cool there you go change the color on the breathing as well if you wanted to next we've got fire Following that is reactive. So let's press a button. There you go. Ripple. So if I now press a button. Spectrum cycling. Okay, next one, starlight. Static wave. Oh, very nice. Lighting color quality is really good. Wheel. And you've got some advanced effects as well on there. Okay, now going back. Let's put it on wave. Okay, so let's do a sound test on the actual keyboard.
Okay, so next, if we go to customize and we can actually reassign keys if we want to, and just to show that's the default key, and then you can record a macro if you wanted to on this, and obviously you've got your multimedia functions as well, and very simple to reassign. Okay, and if I now close that off, Okay, so you've got the multimedia wheel here for volume control. And if I press the button on top, it mutes it. So excellent functionality here and a nice feel to the keyboard. There you go. So you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard. Excellent keyboard, well built. The only negative point I have to make is the price. Price is very high on this. So just to keep that in mind, a great keyboard excellent chroma effects on there so there you go hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this details in the description below thanks for viewing and don't forget to like comment and subscribe